If you're looking for a girl to swoon when you call her beautiful, find me 12 years ago. Smart, sort of, funny sometimes, cute maybe. Scared and ready and willing. She won't believe you anyways. If you're looking for a girl to swoon when you call her beautiful, meet me eight years ago. Half a grapefruit for breakfast, spinach salad for dinner, nothing but tea past 7 p.m. for, you know, curbing the cravings. Say it every time a scale is nearby, knees rattling when you look her way, wondering how much of her she needs to lose to keep you. If you're looking for a girl to swoon when you call her beautiful, date me three years ago. Newly heartbroken, magnifying every mistake, every choice, every blemish, half of what was once whole. She's so much easier to digest if you're looking for a girl to swoon when you call her beautiful. You've come to the wrong place. This here is witchcraft. Eye rolls and late night fast food, purple vibrators and bubblegum lipstick, crop tops and push up bras, neon signs screaming, no fragile masculinities. No men with hands and words that move faster than their humanity. Me will not love you long time. Yes, I am going to eat all of this. And though my face may conjure images of women who are forced to leave their own to take care of white bodies, these hands will not cater, bend, or break for you. Do not expect me to swoon when you call me beautiful. Search the heavens, dig your hands into hard soil, wade knee deep in sewage to find a better word for what my body has had to endure. Call me jagged that you can see loving every ill pattern shape of my badly stitched heart unnerving. My words shake into your core, build a home at the base of your spine, highways on your shoulder blades, making you stand a little taller. Gluttonous, devouring every poem, story, a barrel of white tears. Call me fat in body, but also in anger in promise, in revolution, slowly gaze up my legs and see their strength, sturdy and scarred, standing when the world would rather I was on my knees, and I know it must be confusing. My spirit radiates with such intensity that you believe it can kill the cancer that she left in your bones, but do not call me a cure. My thighs are not bandages to hold you together again. Call me Mananangal, a creature, a monster, a bitch if you're so inclined, because I am used to being the villain. No longer meek or docile, tearing down my body, my mind, my words for approval. Call me terrifying, treacherous, and yes, beautiful.